Buenos dias a todos. Blessed day, fellow educators. I am Mr. Sherwin P. Saavedra. On behalf of the Sambuaca City Division, I welcome you all to this orientation on guidelines on the implementation of the result-based performance management system for school year 2020-2021. Actually, this is just a continuation on the topic about means of verification per RPMS objective based on the PPST priority indicator. This orientation focuses on the MOBs numbers 8 to 12 for the master teachers 1 to 4, the highly proficient teachers of the Department of Education Division of Sambuanga City. What are the means of verification or the MOBs for objectives 8 to 12? For Objective 8, modeled to colleagues the setting of achievable and challenging learning outcomes that are aligned with learning competencies to cultivate a culture of excellence for all learners. The following are the MOBs. One lesson plan, examples, DLP, DLL, WHLP, WLL, lesson exemplars, and the likes. Or, one lesson from a self-learning module prepared by the RATI with achievable and appropriate learning outcomes that are aligned with the learning competencies as shown in any of the following. Lecture and discussion, activity or the activity sheet, performance tasks, rubric for assessing performance using criteria that are appropriately described the target output, and demonstrated in a LAC session as attested by the LAC coordinator, approving committee with the proof of attendance of colleagues. Objective number nine, guided colleagues to strengthen relationships with parents or guardians and the wider school community to maximize their environment in the educative process. The following are the MOBs. One, School letter approved by the school or department or grade level head. Example, communication with the barangay to use a government vehicle to transport modules. Second, approved action plan or project proposal or activity proposal involving the stakeholders. And finally, accomplishment or the narrative report of the approved activity. Objective number 10, contributed actively to the professional networks within and between schools to improve knowledge and to enhance practice. The MOBs are approved activity or project proposal for a webinar, retooling, upskilling, and other training, seminar, workshop, with accomplishment report. Approve activity or project proposal for benchmarking or innovation with accomplishment report. Certificate as contributor to LRMDS. Certificate of completion in a course or training. Certificate of recognition or speakership in a webinar, retooling, upskilling, and other training, seminar, workshop. Any proof of participation in school LAC sessions, online, face-to-face, -face, certified by the LAC coordinator, and others as specified and provide annotations. Objective number 11, initiated professional reflections and promote learning opportunities with colleagues to improve practice. The MOBs are we have the main MOB and the supporting ones. The main MOB, we have synthesis of individual performance and committee review form development plan or the IPCRF DP of colleagues. And the supporting MOBs, we have the certificate for recognition as resource speaker for training committee chairperson. Training matrix of black sessions highlighting teacher's role. Minutes of black session highlighting teacher's role. 
sample personal notes or reflection of colleagues on regional, division, school-led insets, and other trainings supervised or conducted by teacher. Summary of evaluation or quality assurance report on the conducted regional, division, school-led insets, or other trainings. And others just specify and provide annotations. And finally, the last objective, which is the plus factor, perform various related works or activities that contribute to the teaching learning process. The following are the evidences. We have served as OIC in the absence of the principal, represented the principal in meetings and conference, observed teaching performance of teachers one to three, also assisted the school selection committee in the evaluation of credentials when hiring or promoting teachers, served in a committee, served as advisor to co-curricular activities, served as coordinator or chairperson, authored or contributed to a book or journal, participated in the regional office, in the school's division office, or the school-initiated TB radio-based instruction, served as module or learning material writer, served as module or learning material validator, coach and mentored learners in competitions, mentored pre-service or in-service teachers, and others just specify and provide annotations. Muchisimas gracias! Again, this is Mr. Sherwin P. Saavedra saying, No hay cosa imposible. Cree, junto, junto, puede.